hello guys you're welcome back to my youtube channel today i'm going to be preparing your special delicacy apple soup you're going to learn a lot today in this video please keep watching this video because today's recipe is a special kind of all recipes so enjoy watching this video my afang leaf known as okasi leaf this is sliced okasi leaf i'm going to be pounding this okasi leaf so that i can now use it to prepare my soup here is my water leaf i'm going to be slicing this water leaf i have here my sliced water leaf i have here goat meat I'm going to be parboiling this goat meat. I have here, this is called upek, a fish. It's a native fish, normally used for occasions. I have here my onions. I have here my fresh pepper. I'm going to be placing my pot and parboil the meat. This is goat meat. After parboiling it, I'll now be cooking my soup. Keep watching this video. Learn also how to prepare your afang soup. This is a special type of soup. It's not easily prepared. And it's not everybody that knows how to prepare it very well. So keep watching and also learn very fast so here is the okasi leaf i'm going to be putting this okasi leaf inside the mortar and i'm going to pound it I've just finished pounding it. I'm going to be removing it from the mortar. Normally, the one that is pounded, it makes your soup more thicker than the one that is grinded in the engine, and it makes it more sweeter. So I'm going to be scraping this out of the mortar. So I'm going to be parboiling the goat's meat. Add my fresh pepper inside the pots. I also add salt and I'll also add Maggie inside the pots. I also add onions inside the pots. allow it to steam very well so while the meat is being steamed on the fire I will wash my fish so I have to wash this fish with salt Have to wash it very well so that if there is sand the salt will peel off the sand i'll rinse it out from the water So I've just removed the boiled meat from the fire. I'll pour my water leaf inside the pot. To give this water leaf taste, I'll just add just a little pinch of salt. I 
and a cube of Maggi. This is Maggi. So I'll cover the pots and allow this water leaf to steam very well. You know why it's called water leaf because it has its own natural water in the leaf. So you allow this leaf to steam very well, heating and bringing out its own water. If you notice, the pot was empty. There was nothing inside the pot. Just the water leaf. So I'll be, I'll be covering my pots and allow the water leaf to steam very well. For me to see the quantity of water that will be the water leaf will be producing before putting any other thing inside so now you can see the water leaf that was as if it was full you see the, it has reduced very well from the pots you can see it so i'm going to be stirring this water leaf now to see the quantity of the water See the water generating by itself. So I'll stir it now. See it bringing out water for itself. So now I'll be adding my fish. putting my fish inside the pot. I don't want to break this fish. And I'll be adding the good meat inside the pot. So I'll stir the pot. allow this to boil you see that when the fish is heat before you know it will be scattered and allow this to boil very well so guys if you love this video thumbs up and subscribe to my youtube channel like and also share this video with your friends and families And now I'll be adding crayfish inside the pot and allow it to steam very well. I also cover the pot. You have to allow this heat very well. And I'll now be adding palm oil to the pot and allow it steam very well. I'll be stirring the pot. Allow this to boil very well. So guys, you can see the soup boiling. You can see that the water leave on its own and the goat meat and the water of the meat that was used in steaming the meat have already made the soup on its own, had its own water. So when you stir it and see if the quantity of the water you need is okay, you don't need to add water again in the pot. So now I'm going to be adding my oppressive leaf inside the pot of soup and I'll stir it. now allow this to steam for just few minutes and I'll bring down my pot of soup 
you can see the soup is almost ready this is how to prepare your appam soup so now the soup is ready I'm going to be serving my soup inside the plates you can see how special this soup is in aquarium land in most of our occasions like wedding burial whatever event you have a special occasion you have to prepare this afam soup so i'll be dropping my pots down so here is the soup be scooping the soup see how it is how rich and thick So guys, this is the afang soup for events. Just prepare yourself. Please don't always fail to click on my subscription arrow button and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you also learned the process of preparing a fang soup. See you guys in my next video. Bye.